What's up, everybody? Adam Meckler back again with another trumpet video. I'm going to talk about growling today. And we're going to talk about how to do it the right way. And it's always like when I teach my students how to growl the right way, a light bulb goes off. It takes a second. It takes a little bit of work. But it's so fun to get it right because it has it has this like real intense, uh, has this real intense velocity to it when you do it right. It's a really a great sound. I heard Terrell Stafford tell this story. Terrell Stafford's one of the great uh, trumpet players in the world today. And he told the story about playing with John Faddis, who's one of the great lead players in the world today, kind of came up under Dizzy Gillespie, about how he was on a gig and Faddis was the lead player. And he was flutter-tonguing to growl. Anytime it's a growl in his chart, he would flutter-tongue, right? And if you don't know what flutter-tonguing is, this is how most people growl, is they go, and they, they kind of roll their tongue, right? It's like rolling an R. Saint, I'm playing the song St. James Infirmary, which is a old style like New Orleans tune. And that's that's using a flutter tone to get the growl sound, which is okay. It has an okay sound to it. It's easier. It's something that trumpet players learn how to do sooner. For whatever reason, we're not taught the real way to growl. But on this gig that Terrell Stafford was on, as the story goes, Fattis was essentially like, how are you growling? Are you growling? Are you flutter tonguing to growl? And Terrell Stafford was like, yeah. And he was like, figure out how to growl for real or you're not in the band. You're out. All right. So it was like this moment where he was like, I got to figure this out. Went home, figured it out, came back. Everything was cool. Uh, what he figured out was that instead of using your tongue to roll R's, which is a cool sound, as you just heard, it's, it's fine. It works all right. But the growl sound is really the authentic sound and it's using your uvula uh, and what helped me i just God, i figured this out in the last handful of years actually um so it took me a long time <laughs> it took me a long time i knew intellectually what i was supposed to do uh, but until i really like put my mind to making it work i wasn't doing it right um and essentially you're going <laughs> with the back of your throat <laughs> and if you speak any french or something it's like it's pretty similar feeling um going like tch, tch, you know <laughs> it's that sound and you can hear it <laughs> and the real difference between the flutter tongue and the, and the and the growl as you'll hear in a second is that more air is able to get through when you use your uvula to growl so you can get a bigger sound there's more resistance when you use your tongue to roll the r and less air is able to get through. And so the sound is really flappy because your tongue is flapping, right? But it's less big, all right? So I'll, I'll do them back to back. Um, this is the flutter tongue way again. Okay. And then this is the growl. this like visceral aggressive feeling it's this massive sound uh that you can get massive i mean it's like fun it's really fun to play that way it's and it's a huge difference between right that's the flutter tone here's the here's the growl it's huge it's a huge sound it's a huge sound it's much much better so i would suggest that as you develop your ability to play the trumpet you incorporate growling with the back of your throat, uh, almost like you're hawking up a loogie, right? 
rather than flutter tongue is great and you have to flutter tongue in a lot of like classical pieces they put flutter tongue in as a thing that you should do every time i see it i, I, like, I don't like it i just don't like the sound of it uh and i started I'm, I'm playing this piece like a classical piece with a symphony which i don't usually do at all but there's like all these flugelhorn feature things that they wanted me to play solos on so i'm kind of like a featured soloist on this stuff and i'm growling for some of it because it's easier it's just easier to growl uh than flutter tongue it, for me uh, i've always for some reason it was like always hard for me to, to flutter tongue i'm much better at it now uh practicing it but from years you know in when i was in my master's degree studying trumpet it was like and i had to play some stuff with flutter tongue and i always struggled with that uh but that's the right way the real way the authentic way to growl. So if you're playing any music, I mean, improvising, it's great. Growl growling is, it's another element that you can add in uh, to your music making. All right, it's great. It fits in a lot of contexts. I play in like a small jazz trio called Supercell that has a new album coming out in December of 2022. And uh, it's called Live Volume One. And I'm doing a little growling on that record. And that's like a small group, just bass, drums, and trumpet. And it still works in that setting. Just depend. I use it sparingly in that setting, but I also play a lot of brass band music. And so of course I'm using it like the New Orleans style stuff. I'm using it in that quite a bit. So that's it. That's how you growl. If you dig it, like, and subscribe. I appreciate you watching. And uh, hey, shoot me a comment. Let me know what you'd like me to make, any topics you'd like me to talk about, or if you've got any tips for learning to growl yourself. Thanks for watching. Peace.